Start top. Saying three, take one. Hey guys, welcome to Rumble Coffee. My name's Stan, and today I want to take you through how to make the perfect stovetop or mocha pot, depending on how you refer to it. So what you're going to need is an element or a hot plate. You're going to need your stovetop. You're going to need some freshly ground coffee, some scales to weigh that coffee. You're going to need a jug with some hot filtered water in it. And you're going to need a funnel to help transfer the coffee without losing any. First up, grab the filter out of the base and just place the funnel in. The coffee size that we're using today is fine to medium sort of grind size, and that's basically around caster sugar if you need a visual reference. The ratio we're going for is 7.5 grams per 100 ml. Since we're doing a one cup, the recipe will be 15 grams to 200 ml. The overall volume though is dictated by the height of the valve and the size of the stove top, so you don't want to fill up the water over that valve. Transfer the coffee. Give it a couple of taps. That's gonna level it out and just take away any air pockets. I'm gonna sit it there for a second. Now, we're using hot filtered water because while it's brewing, we don't actually want it to steam the coffee. So if we were using cold, it takes a longer time to brew and that steam's actually gonna ruin the brew. So transfer your hot water. Cool. It's gonna be a bit hot, so make sure you use like a tea towel or something to hold the base. Grab your coffee, and you can screw on. Make sure it's nice and tight and it creates a proper seal. Place it on your hot plate, turn it on. So now we can hear the coffee brewing. At this point, you want to turn the element off and take the stovetop off the element. We're actually going to leave it for about a minute or so. It's going to continue its brew cycle. We won't touch it again until it's actually finished its brew cycle. So we're just listening at this point. So it's been about a minute. I can't hear it anymore, so I know it's finished brewing. Grab your vessel, pour away. Stovetop brews a little bit stronger, so if you find you want to dilute it down, just add in a bit of water. Enjoy.